Hey what's up everyone, City and Technology News here, and today I've got a pretty interesting tutorial for you. As you may or may not know, Windows 10 actually released today, and it's a free upgrade for anyone already running a recent version of Windows. However, for the first time, Microsoft's actually rolling out this operating system on a reservation basis, meaning you actually have to order your copy of Windows before you can download it. You basically just click the icon that will appear in the bottom right hand corner of your screen, it'll take you to a window that'll allow you to reserve it in a really simple way, and then Microsoft will let you know when your operating system is ready. But for people who don't want to wait to get Windows 10, there is also an option that you can actually use to get the operating system right now. Now before I go any further, I do just want to stress that this won't work for a clean installation, you do already need to have a version of Windows installed, but if you do have a version of Windows and you've already reserved this software, this should work fine. So the first step is going to be to go to this website, I'll provide the link to it in the description below. This is Microsoft's page for downloading Windows 10, and it allows you to download it in advance. So you actually have to download the tool to install it first, so I'm going to download the 64-bit version, which corresponds to my version of Windows, but if you do have a 32-bit machine, you can download the 32-bit version as well. This is a fairly small file, it's only 18.7 megabytes, so it'll just take a couple seconds to install, and once it's done, you're ready to actually upgrade to Windows 10. So once the file is finished downloading, you obviously want to open it up, and it will need a couple security permissions since this is trying to install an entirely new operating system on your computer, but once you've done that, it's going to show you this window, where you have the option to either upgrade this PC now, or create installation media for another PC. So I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade this PC, because that's the one I want to upgrade. Depending on your internet connection speed, I warn you that it could take a little while to download Windows 10, it's like a 4 gigabyte file I believe, but the good news is that you can keep using your PC in the meantime, so it's not like you just have to sit here and wait for it to download. Download the upgrade. So it's now finished downloading Windows 10, so it's moved on to the next phase, which is creating Windows 10 Media. This is basically the part of the operating system that you'll be interacting with, and again, it takes just a couple minutes, but it's not going to take as long, since it's no longer trying to download all of these really big files. So anyways, just, you can keep on using your PC during this stage, but this is just the next phase in the setup wizard. Alright, so the setup wizard is almost done, and we've now come to the Windows operating system Terms of Service. Uh, this is pretty much just the standard Windows Terms of Service that you'll have to agree to if you use any Microsoft operating system and you can be one of those really weird people who actually looks over this or you can just scroll to the bottom and hit accept and that's just what I'm going to do for right now. So now it's just bringing me to this next window which is getting updates. Uh, it's basically getting the latest version of Windows 10 so you don't end up with a, a slightly out of date build or anything and I'm not sure how long this will take but I'll go ahead and cut ahead again so I'll let you know when it gets to the next section. Alright, so at long last I've now reached the ready to install page for Windows 10. As it says I won't be able to use my PC while Windows installs, so I went ahead and closed all of my programs and my files I had open. You do also have the option on the screen to keep both your personal files and apps, just the files you have in your computer or nothing at all, but since this is the computer I use primarily, I'm going to keep everything. I should recap just one more time though that if you are installing Windows 10, you should probably back everything up beforehand just so you don't lose any files or programs that are important to you, but with that said, I'm now ready to install this operating system, so I'll be back when it's finished installing. Alright, so Windows 10 is now finally running on my PC, and I warn you that this actually was a really long and complicated process. There were actually some driver issues with the computer I was using that weren't actually compatible with Windows 10, so I was getting an error that caused my computer to keep crashing every couple seconds, but I've finally gotten it worked out, and it's now actually running on my computer. So just a warning if you are installing Windows 10 for the first time, this is still a very early version of the operating system, and Microsoft and its hardware partners are still trying to iron out some of the glitches with it, but again, it is actually a pretty cool upgrade, so I will We'll be doing a review on this very soon. In the meantime, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out Windows 10 if you want by using the link in the description below, and I will see you next time.